Okay, here we go. Good evening. My name is Tony Ben, or as you can call me, Bony Chen. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I'm your local politician, or I used to be until you fired me and voted the bloody Liberal Democrats in your fools. Yes. Well, luckily now we've got Labour back, so we're all right in Chesterfield anyway. So anyway, yes, what am I doing here? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. I've come to complain. Yes, I have. I've come to complain about you lot. Yes. Right. Attention council workers, you know what's happening. We've got the coalition in. So now, you buggers, it's going to take two of you to do what one man have done instead of three. So that'll teach you, won't it? Ha! <laughs> eh? Hey, one third of the workforce gone. Yes, they won't be able to sign on, of course, because it takes three people to sign on. Yes, not one. <laughs> so there you are. Yes, right. So we've decided what we're going to do with the failing schools, the coalition, yes. What they're going to do is they're going to sort the failing schools out by closing all the good ones. Simple. And then the failing schools go to the top of the list. Job done, you see. Easy. It doesn't cost a penny. Yes. Hospitals. Yes, I went to hospital. Yes. Mm. Yes, and so did my brother, who was very... My brother's mean. He's so mean, it's unbelievable. Yes. He went to have his wallet removed. Yes. I'm not saying he's tight, it's just that he squeaks a lot when he walks around. <laughs> yes, for any of the family that are watching, that's quite funny. Yes. Anyway. Uncle Tony, as you do, uh, please name a political subject that you want to. What? Yes. Education. No, we've done that. Twat. Yes. Oh yes, Nick Clegg, he's a good one, yes, Liberal Democrats, Liberal Democrats, yes. Ha <laughs> fools, eh? Oh God, you don't get in for a hundred and God knows what years. And all of a sudden, David Cameron, him, Tory, you know, Mrs Thatcher in, in trousers, you know, says, Oh, hello, little Nicky, would you like some sweeties? Here's a bit of sweeties for you, and you can come into bed with me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you can have anything you want. Well, pardon me, Mr. Michael Jackson Cameron, but, uh, you know, we've heard this one before. Speaking of Michael Jackson, um, yes, well, I'll tell you something. I mean, they had a go at Michael, didn't they, before he was dead? So I'm not going to have a go at Michael Jackson. It's wrong to speak of the dead. So anyway, Gary Glitter, right, was stood there and he said to his sister Janet, he said, right, Janet, he says, I've had enough of the pop star malarkey and all these problems. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to give it all up and start goat farming. I said, you what? Yes, he said. He said, first thing I'm going to do, Jen, is I'm going to go out and buy some kids. He said, don't you think you're in enough trouble, Michael? So there we are. That's Uncle Tony's bit over. And we've only took three minutes. Oh, my God, what are we going to do now? Um, we've got to think of somebody else. Who else do we know? Do we know anybody? No? What do you want to hear about now? The crime rate. Oh, yes. Well, we've decided to sort the crime rate out. Basically, nothing is going to be the fence. Right. Why would I say like Bruce Forsyth while I'm in there? I want to do it there. Anyway, back to Tony. Because I can't do Tony very well for long periods of time. We just found this out after <laughs> four minutes of effort. Right, uh, yes. Crime, yes. As I say, nothing's going to become an offence. So you can do as you like. So the crime figures are eliminated. Now I'm sounding, sounding, starting to sound like someone with a nasal twang. What's up with me now? Oh, God. You see? That's the problem when you do impressions. You never know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> is this me? No, I'm not sure. Hello, is this me? Yeah. Yes, I'm not. Uh, I'm not schizophrenic. It's just uh, I help them out and busy. Are we on? Yes, we are. Right. Uh, last one. Yes, we decided to sort all you Dell Wallers out. You see, um, what happens is you, you know, um, the government said you've got to be more motivated to go out and get a job which there aren't any of. Right. So. We've decided what we're going to do. It's very simple, right? To get you motivated, we have to give you more energy in your life. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move the Dole office 200 yards further away from Weatherspoons. Yes, that'll bloody sore you, won't it? You've got to walk further out to sign on on a Tuesday morning, yes? Instead of having your early, early breakfast, God knows what you're having there, and your three and a half pints. Oh dear, I can't go to an interview. I'm drunk again, yes. So, there we are. Ha! <laughs> That's sorted you. Have you noticed how anything, everything to do with unemployment has got three syllables? Apart from unemployment, which has got four. Right? Right? Yeah. Daryl Office. Yes? Right? Daryl Office. You be four. No, that's got four as well. Uh, I'm defeating my own argument here. Right, hang on a minute. Daryl Office. Yes, so what we're going to do, right, what, or what we have done, because we're very clever, we are in the Labour Party, is in order to get you to expend more energy, to get you used to working a bit, you see? We put another syllable on it, so we changed the do, you know, dole office, three syllables, to job centre plus four. Yes, so there you are, that'll give you some more effort. And by the way, we're changing your signing on time next week to half past three in the morning. Yes. 
So you can come out to Weatherspoons and go straight to the Earl office again. You see, you don't need to get to bed. Job done. Saves money. Good night.